His singing is perfect here. His singing is really, really good. Hi, I'm Pierre and welcome to Neon Reactions. Folks, for me, it's Sunday morning. I've got my first coffee right here and we are going to listen to um, another full album, but this time it's Chen and his album Polaris. Um, I'm excited. I really enjoyed listening to the whole album of D.O. Empathy. And um, we will be getting to his second album soon. But today it's Chen's turn. And yes, I like Chen's style of singing. He's got, he's got a very versatile voice. I love that about him. And yeah, I want to see what he sounds like when he's not with the boys, you know. So let's dive right in. There is one MV for the album. It's called Light of My Life. And we'll be watching that first and then the rest of the album. Okay, so yeah, before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. And if you have anything to tell me, well, you know, comment section down there is the place to go. But now... It's time for some chin. Okay. Hi. Light of my life. Wait, we've got no subtitles. It's loud enough. Yeah. Interesting voices in the background. Mm. Okay. Very bluesy, very solely, very yes, very emotional, but I like the soul in it. I like the guitars that just came in were really cool. They were just, you know, open chords with lots of reverb. Wah, wah. Really nice. I love that. He's singing very smoothly. It already has this very smooth feeling. I like it. I like it. Mm. Oh yes, yes, I am getting so much so much 90s R&B soul vibes, smooth, funky vibes there, but mostly soul and R&B. This sounds like boys to men nowadays. <laughs> this is cool. This sounds really nice. The addition of the strings here in the pre-chorus chorus made made it even more heartwarming and right at that moment when they came in it was like oh <laughs> really good i want to go back a bit Just in myself, right here wow Yes. 
the backing vocals that ooh, ooh that is that is yes so r&b 90s love it love it <clears throat> Mm. Nice guitar sound. Very nice. He's he's singing very beautifully here. I like the way he goes back and forth between between his different ranges. He's not overdoing it on any part of the range. It's really nice. And it's very catchy. Even though there are so many different melodies in this whole song, there's not like this one melody that really jumps at you. But it's catchy nevertheless. Somehow it's catchy. The music just tells you what to do with the melody and you can feel it. It's it's cool. I like the backing vocals. Nice. Really nice. And now we're back with a snapping. Nice. Okay, okay, we're coming back with the rhythm. Nice, nice. That was a nice one. A nice build up to a key change. Really cool. The guitar is going off in the back there, doing some really quick licks there. Really nice. Beautiful. Okay. Nice beat mix up there. Cool. Mm. And an absolutely smooth ending. Okay, this was good. This was really nice. And there he's back on the street.
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to the next one, this song was really interesting. It was not a simple song. It was definitely not your average simple pop song. There were so many different melodies and melody changes in there. You couldn't really pinpoint that one that one chorus melody, you know? It was it was a rather complex song, but it was good. It was really really good. It took me actually took me back like I said a whole bunch of years 90s 2000s where sometimes the music was just a bit more complex than it is today nice really nice song beautiful and it was longer a bit longer than what we're getting today like nowadays some songs don't even hit the three minute mark which is sad but okay Really not. I loved it. It was a really good song. Okay, let's let's move on. Breakout. Breakout is the next one. Okay, okay. Nice guitars, really nice guitar sound there. A very moving rhythm, and I like that they distorted his voice a bit. He's got some sort of a distortion on his voice. Pulling out some of the high and the low sounds, so it's more just the mid-range. Mid Putting a little bit of distortion on it, it sounds like he's coming through an old radio or an old mic, you know, like a walkie-talkie type of thing. Sounding good. Nice. Mm. And that typical rhythm of the drum for a bit more of that rock rocky vibe with the triplets in between really nice i love it the drum is nice in the back nice Some sound in the back that that is weird. It's like a woo. It's some sort of a synthesizer that just fills it a bit more with. It sounds cool. This is a good one. Very good. I like the I like the feel of this song. It's it's more of a pop rock song. I wouldn't call it full fledged rock music. It's but it's it's a pop rock song which which has its its really cool elements in it. I I like this. I like the, how the second verse just came in, and we just have the guitar jamming along in the back. Sounds really nice. <laughs> Nice. 
powerful singing. Okay, and we're switching up between the two voices. One of them is the distorted, more flat voice, and the other one is his regular voice, and they're changing it up between those two. I gotta have to look at the lyrics. Is there some sort of a conversation between those two voices? Or is it just for the effect? I wanna hear that again. Very good. Oh, that was cool. That that sounded like an engine revving up in the back. This really cool. Nice way to take it into the pre-chorus or chorus, whatever. Right here. Very good. The instruments, the synthesizers, the guitars, they are all playing that melody of the chorus. Da 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 da. Everything is playing that melody. That is, you don't hear that all too often, but it's cool. It sounds very full at that moment. Yeah, nice. And really good backing vocals there too. They fill in with the same melody. This is cool. This is a good song. This is really a good song. It's hot. We've got piano. This is a nice one. I like this bridge. Bringing in the piano here is genius. This is nice. Wait, well, back. That was cool. Now. This just changes the whole mood of the song. This is cool. I like this bridge. Really nice. Nice singing. And then we're back with the guitars again. Really cool. Really cool. I like this part. Uh uh uh. Well, uh oh. Very good. Nice. That was a. This song was really good. I like how it. 
so many different things happened in that song. And they were mixed together well. I like how they took his voice and distorted it, taking out the highs and the lows and just having the middles there. Really, really nice. This was a good song. This was a really, this is, yeah, really nice. Let's move on. What do we got now? Free World. Starting with guitars again. Interesting. Oh, yes. Okay. I want to hear that from the beginning again. It's interesting what the guitar is doing. It's nothing complicated, but it sounds good. And it's nice that he put a melody over that. It sounds good. Wait a second. I'm sorry. I, I have to, I have to see what that is. I just, I just want to check this out. Wait. Yeah, he's somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, it's something like this. Something like that, yeah. He's moving around there. Cool. Nice, really nice. Let's do it from the beginning again. I like them, the sounds in the background too. This is very cool. I wasn't expecting them to go that way with the beat. The beat in the beginning, a nice, really, really low bass drum, really thumpy bass drum. I wasn't expecting them to go on to the four to the floor, to the regular beat, but that was cool. Nice bass drum sound. Mm. I'm loving the backing vocals, everything here. This is, this moves me. This is cool. I like the clapping. Okay, okay. Where are we going? I like his singing here too. I like his singing here. That one note right there that da 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 da, -da. Wait, where was it? Right here. Da -da 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 -da. Really nice. I like how he's emphasizing the, the notes. Okay. This is a rather powerful song. It's laid back, but it's powerful at the same time. Really good chorus. 
I like this. What I like about the whole thing is it sounds very... It has that little bit of a tribal feel for me. Because of the percussion. It's not just a regular beat. There's more work on the tom drums and everything. It sounds cool. It sounds very... Earthy. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it sounds really nice. Really good singing. Okay. That is so good. I like how they immediately switch to the next verse and all of the electric guitars and the whole hype is gone and you can only hear the 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 guitar doing that really nice. I like the dynamics of that. It sounds so good. Nice. And so many, so many layered vocals in the back. This is like a carpet of vocals. Really nice. A very straight bass line, boom, 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 boom. But it fits really good, it pushes the whole beat. I like the build up of the song. This is fun. This is a fun song. Oh yes, these open guitar notes there, they just sound very dreamy. I like how they changed that, how they went into the bridge. Very interesting. Oh, I like it. I like his flow here. He, I like the way he's singing here. It's a really nice flow on top of that slow beat. Very nice.
This is a This is a very cool song. This is a very cool song. I'm loving this. Yes, give me some electric guitars and I'm happy. <laughs> okay, this song, this song was even better than the one before for me right now on the first listen. This was cool. I really enjoyed that. I like that, that part that I tried playing in the beginning. That is just such an easy little riff, but it, it gives you so much if you have a nice vocal line on top of it. And I like how they reused that part. It wasn't just an intro or something. It was actually the verse and it was nice. And then coming to the full chords on the chorus and the pre-chorus, just that da 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 and filling it with a couple of, you know, strumming around on the strings without making any sound. Really nice. I like I I like the feel of this whole song. The free world. I'm definitely going to have to listen to that one more often. Okay, now it's now we're on the road. Let's see. Wait. Okay. Okay, we're mixing up quite a lot here. We've got I I'm I'm getting the a funky R&B Motown sort of a vibe. This is cool. This is nice. The sounds are good. The instruments sound really nice. I want to go back all the way. The snare drum sounds like a tin can. That's actually a, the, the, a snare drum sound you don't want to go with, but if used in a correct setting, it sounds really cool. It sounds really cool here. I like how it, I like the snare drum here. Really good. And that synth bass. That is just, that is so cool. That is really from way back. That is a nice sound. This has a good feeling. Yes. His singing is perfect here. His singing is really, really good. I like how he's in the groove. He's using his full voice. He's really going for it. And I love it. This is good. The crazy thing about this that one might not think, but if you see a song like this on the on the mixing screen with all the different um with all the different layers and all the different um instruments 
stacked on top of each other. This probably has like 20 or 30 different layers of vocals. <laughs> this is crazy. He's doubled his singing voice. Then we've got a couple of voices in the back that just do ha. Huh. And then we've got some other vocal lines in the back. This is nuts. <laughs> Right here, this part, we have at least three or four or maybe even five different layers of himself. We've got a couple of ad libs in the back. Ooh, something like that. That sounded like a dying dog. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> really nice i love this part is just amazing i like it the whole groove of it i mean funk is just a music to get you moving it's just if if a song has a funky vibe it just moves you it's just there to i don't know it's but this has exactly that vibe and i love it Oh, yes! Yes! Give it a pause. I am loving that bass in the back. This just sounds so good. And then they just stop the beat for a second here. I love it when they do that. Awesome. Now they put the guitars in. Very cool. This is so much fun. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for a bridge because in the other songs, the bridge was always really, really different. And we're getting here. This is, I like how they take out everything and just go smooth. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Very. This is just the f the funky feeling. One that Bruno Mars is also taking that route somehow. But I'm not comparing those. I just, I don't want to compare them. Uh, this is really nice. I like how they, how they went from that really smooth and slow bridge back into the rhythm part with just a couple of hits. Da, da, da. Da -da -da. Really, I like that. Nice. Nice high notes there. And now we're not back with the regular rhythm. We've got a clap track. 
so that everybody can move along. There is nothing better in music than a clap track. That is so nice. Give it. If you hear clapping in a song and it doesn't move you, then there is something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm. Nice little stop in the beat there. Nice. Oh, the ad libs are going nuts in the back. Wow. Wow. This one was fun. This was, this song was really fun. So much happening in that song. This is crazy. Oh, it's good. On the road. Now it's the Mirage of Flower. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to the blues section. Mm. Okay, this is pure blues. This is nice. I like his voice. I like his tone when he's singing. I like the piano. We've got that typical one little gank of guitar in the back. We've got a nice beat. This is cool. This already starts off to give me that that smoky bar type of vibe, you know, sitting in the smoky bar, just having a drink, doing not much, listening to the guy on the stage. I like these kind of songs. I get it at the beginning. Dun, 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 dun. It could just be the beginning of a really old Gary Moore song. This is just nice. <clears throat> yeah, this could be Gary Moore. Beautiful. I was so stupid. They added a second voice there. I like how he's singing. I like the build up of the song. When in that second part of the verse, when he went a little bit quicker and a little more staccato on some of those notes right there da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. very cool choice very nice this is good Okay, we've got the acoustic guitar or the clean guitar now just strumming chords 
we've taken out the, the instruments a little bit. We've taken them back. And we're preparing the chorus. I wonder, I, I'm hoping we're going to get a nice little electric guitar lick in there or something. We've got a guitar coming in. Very, very powerful. I like the emotion of this. It's just a very, it's not, not powerful in, in, in sense of energy, but it's very powerful in this brooding type of, of emotion you get. It's, I love it. I love the way he came in with the, with the chorus. Wait. Wow, nice. This is cool. This is cool. Flower. Okay, right in the back, we've got a little bit of a guitar there. I would love. I don't know where this song is going. We're in the middle now. But I would so love to hear an electric guitar just scream. Just to have some sort of a solo. That would just be like the cherry on top. A song like this needs that. If you're going the blues route, you need, you need a screaming, sad, emotional guitar solo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this the whole mood I did not know or I did not think he would be doing something like that I was expecting you know like funk R&B but I was not expecting this very soulful blues type of song he's doing it really well I like it This is cool. This is cool. What I meant with the with this with this power, this song or songs like this, but especially this one now, it just feels like you're standing on a shore. And when the chorus comes in, it's just like waves coming over you, just splashing over you. It's like this. I like that feeling and I like how he's singing it. He's not overdoing it. He's really staying in these lanes, I like it. I really enjoy the feeling of this song. He's giving that... He's giving that little sense of desperation in his voice. And the vibe of... Helplessness or something like that. Or, or pleading. I don't know. It's just that, that sense that a blues song gives you. 
And he's right in there. He's definitely right in there. I love it. Wonderful backing vocals. There's the guitar. <laughs> okay, there has, if you do a song like this, there has to be a guitar. We gotta listen to that one. Beautiful vocals, beautiful. Yes, I just heard him say like, um, it's over, something like that. So, yes, that is that. If this is like a love song and he's coming to the conclusion that his relationship is over. That's exactly what, what the feelings of this whole thing gives me. Like very desperate, very emotional. Yeah, that's the word. I, I'm I'm searching for words, but I'm already saying them. Um, I like this. I like this one. And as you can see, it's four minutes and twenty five seconds, and it was not a second too long. This was a good song, and I was enjoying it. I didn't realize it was this long. But this was the regular length for songs a while back, you know. This was more of a regular song. I loved it. This was cool. This was fun. Mirage of Flower. Okay, kudos to him. I mean, really good. I did not think he would be doing, he would be going that route. This was nice. Okay, now we're off to My Sunshine. So you could cut it Aru Kidas one way as I can eat it Okay A totally different vibe Countdown Kiri Mohare Nijika Kata Highlight Negai Kome wants This already feels very uplifting. After this emotional wreck right before that, this feels very uplifting. I like the song placement here because it, this takes you out of that hole you were just in. I like the feel of it. It has a nice reverb on the snapping. It's like very, whoa, I'm always hitting my mic here. I might have to place it somewhere else, but I like the feel of this song. My way. Come with me. Oh. We are definitely going 90s sound here. This, the drum, the electrical drum, this sounds like 90s pop music. <laughs> I haven't heard a drum like that for so long. Yes. Oh, 
That drip, that drip is just, that is so good. Having him say my sunshine with so much reverb on it. And in that reverb, in the silence where they cut out everything, you just have that drip as, as the next step to the next verse. This was good. I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Good singing, good singing. And we've got nice guitars in the back again, just plucking on muted strings like like the one I did before. Just with the, 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 really nice, really nice. <laughs> Those drums. Really good. Beautiful singing, beautiful melody he's singing here with with such a nice voice. I like his tone. Wonderful, wonderful. This is so nice. This is mm. I like it, I like it. Okay, this was this song was and it was the last song of the album it makes total sense this song as i said in the beginning it already felt very uplifting and very very positive and loving having this song end the album the album took you I mean, there were only six, was it six or seven songs on the album now? They went through quite the roller coaster. We've got, we had the harder hitting songs. We had the emotional blues. We had everything. And to end all of that with a song that just makes you feel totally good again and smile and everything, that is so cleverly placed. This was a really nice song. Okay, overall, what can I say? This was an awesome album. I really, really enjoyed this. And yes, you guys told me I could see a whole different side of Chen here on this album. And yes, I did. I surely did. He walked roads I did not think he would walk. Um, but he walked them well. <laughs> yeah. He had his good hiking equipment on. 
No, really, I enjoyed this so much. Really nice. Uh, I actually do have lots more respect for him now after hearing this. And I will definitely listen to this album a couple more times now. Yeah, folks, thank you once again for telling me to listen to this. And um, yeah. Now, how long did we... Oh, it's already an hour. Okay, so this was a long one. Uh, if you're still here, thank you for sticking around. Um, yeah, this was good. You guys stay safe, take care, and you know, as I always say, Sarangay, Anyong. Until the next time. Bye.